doing some work to a <clears throat> uh, third gen Dodge here. It's a 0759. And uh, one of the things that I did was pull the alternator on it. And uh, the alternator was not charging for one, um, but also it was making a pretty horrible noise um, when the engine was running. And uh, so I pulled the alternator off the truck and just went to go spin the alternator. Put a tool in there just to hold the fan on the alternator so you can see here. I went to go spin the alternator and I noticed that the pulley is uh, freewheeling on the, on the uh, rotor shaft. Like you see. Uh, and so it had this black cover on it and I pulled it off and figured, oh, I just, you know, the fucking, the nut came loose. Nope. Uh, sure enough, it's actually got a bearing in here and um, I'll probably clean, clean that number off and uh, look it up later. But I would imagine that this bearing is intended to be a one-way sprag clutch. Um, this pickup is a third gen Dodge, like I said, 07. Um, the second gen Dodges were very, very, very known for when you shut the pickup off that the belt would squeak. You would just give a quick chirp. Um, the vast majority of people that I've talked to think that it's the alternator that causes it. What it actually is, is if the fan is engaged. Um, if the fan is engaged, like the clutch is engaged when you shut the pickup off, um, on a straight six, it'll like spin down and then hit a compression and then actually bounce back and spin backwards. When the fan clutch is engaged, there's so much inertia in the fan that when the engine goes to spin backwards, it'll slip the belt over the fan clutch. Um, but I've heard a lot of people say that it's the alternator. Um, and I wonder if this actually is like a, um, thing designed by or like i wonder if this was put in here because the like factory engineers granted i mean this is an aftermarket alternator uh whether it's i'll have to look at an oem factory dodge alternator and see if it has one of these or not um i've never noticed before but this one's an aftermarket one and um <clears throat> evidently somebody thought it was the alternator that was causing this uh this issue which i just think is hilarious and actually quite funny that this is what caused the problem on this pickup customers supplied their own parts and so this here is the replacement alternator and same deal put a scrinch down in to hit the fan and oops sure as shit is locked up in that direction but it'll freewheel in that direction I, I don't know it's damnedest thing to me I've, I've never noticed that before i gotta check see if the the factory alternators are that way and um fucking stupid and just more shit to go wrong